In my house, there was a store. We would all tell stories on Christmas Eve. And uh, generally, when we told stories, my sister would play the piano, and she just played music behind what, whatever story would be told. And we didn't tell Christmas stories because my little brother had Santa claustrophobia. And, um, and so they would just tell bedtime stories before we would uh, nod off to sleep at night. So in order to help you take time to understand uh, Christmas traditions, I'd like to tell you, one of the stories that has been passed down through my family. And, and matter of fact, uh, Jeffrey B., are you still back there somewhere? Could you, do you mind coming out to the keyboard and just like my sister, you just, do you mind coming out? Just get on the keyboard and uh, just play on the keys uh, whatever you'd like to hear before you'd go to sleep at night, right before you'd nod off uh, and have visions of sugar plums dancing in your head. So just play that. And then, Jeff... As I tell the story, you just play what you feel based on what the story does into your soul. Okay. So just go ahead and play what you'd play right before you, like, if it was story time at your house. Here we go. Jeff? Jeffrey? Can you hear me? Put me in his monitor. Jeff? Do you take a lot of Ambien at night? Do you sleep well at all? This would just be, I'm looking for like a little, uh, just kind of a melody, kind of a, just a nice little lullaby type thing. Jeez. Just a lullaby. There, that's great. Once upon a time, Lowly Gox was washed in the woods. She was just about to give up Hall Oak when she saw this dite in the distance. So she followed the little dite in the distance, and there at the wind of the woods was a little cog glabbing. So she rocked right on up to the little cog glabbing and weeped in the pindo. And there on the sable were three hot tolls of boop. Well, Lola got, she was hairy bungry. So she rocked right on around to the dunk floor, and she docked on the nore. <laughs> How'd you do that? Oh, look. thank you, Scott. <laughs> That's great. Let's do that again. <laughs> it was a big door, big lowly gox. <laughs> All right, so back to the lullaby. It's just a sheet. No, we were just, I just, all we did was knock on the door. You know, back when you played for Iron Butterfly, when you had hair, that would, that would have been appropriate. That's, look at me when I'm talking to you. I don't need any, all I asked was for Jeff to play. When I was a child and when we had that Christmas dinner, there was, there was about this much meat left on the drumsticks as when the whole family got through with that one drumstick we had. Okay. Just a lullaby is all I need away from the mind. That's, that's cold. Hey, don't, don't, don't play cold play. Just a lullaby. Where were we? Oh, she docked on the nor just a lullaby. She docked, she, no, just a lullaby. She docked on the nor, but, but oh, but he answered. So she rocked right on in and sat down at the church fair and says the first hot solo boot, but it was who taught. <laughs> so she went to the check-in, Sarah, and says the second hot solo boot, and it was who told. <laughs> so she went to the church there and says the third hot solo boot, and it was Ruth Jide. So she obbled it all up. Well, this made little lowly gox slurry beepy. She saw this care stace over in the corner, so she rocked right on over to the care stace. She is real sleepy. Just a normal. You're having a good time, aren't you? A lot better time than you had when you were a kid sitting around the tree and your folks made you go to the room. Just a lullaby is all I need. She was slurry beepy, so she rocked right on over to the care station and she stymed the clairs. 
Jeff, she went up the stairs. Take her up. So what? Do you picture like a five-story building out in the middle of the woods where she has to run up there? Just bring her back down to the fleckant soar. Right there. Stop. She's walking into the little red. No, now bring her up one. Just a lullaby while she goes into the red boom. So Lola Gox rocked right on into the little red boom, and there were brief eds. So she went and stayed down on the burst bed, but it was hoot hard. So she went to the beck and said, and day down, and it was Sue Toft, and had a spring missing in it. So she went to the bird's head and day down, and it was rough giant. So Lola Gox lent to weep. Meanwhile, <laughs> the breathers came home. Fell down right there at the door. <laughs> and the brief airs rocked right on into the little cog lab and Bapa Pear said, someone's been sasting my tube. <laughs> Bama Mara said, someone's been sasting my tube too. And Baby Bear. <laughs> said, someone been eating a egg drop wonton soup. <laughs> Oh, look, fortune cookie. I'll get a new keyboard player. <laughs> so Baby Bear said, someone's been sasting my tube and they done obbled it all gop. Then Charlie Brown and Snoopy came dancing through the house. For some odd reason, they got in the wrong story and didn't have any idea what was going on inside someone's brain that should be just playing their lullaby. So the brief theirs were merry bad, and they rocked right on over to the care station. They stymed the Claire's after they went to the basement. They took a little tour through the attic and came back down to the fleck and sore. Very confused bears. Tested the floor, it seemed fine. Said, hmm, don't we hear a lullaby on the stereo downstairs? <laughs> so the brief airs rocked right on into the little red boom and Bapa Pear said, someone's been beeping in my sled. Which is the whole Christmas part of the thing. Bama Mare said, someone's been beeping in my sled too. And Baby Bear, Threw her chopsticks down. <laughs> Get ready for some heavy duty like cartoon chase music, okay? Baby Bear said, Someone's been beeping in my sled, and sure he is. Well, just then Lola Gox opened up, and she was toast terrified. She bumped out of jet, tumped over the table, down the war, out into the woods, and never returned to the little cock lab. And again, amen. Thank you. I hope. I hope the story of my life and our traditions is much like yours and that now maybe the band and everybody back here will feel the whole traditional feel that I, I now feel and I'm sure you feel with me and maybe they'll play something very, very traditional now. Thank you.